Last year, viewers of the project were passengers on a history-making journey. We've just trucked the uh, land yacht from New Zealand all the way across through to Adelaide. America's Cup winners Emirates Team New Zealand had become land lovers, attempting to break the wind-powered land speed record. And when they smashed it, we were alongside them. We just did over 220 kilometres an hour, so pretty stoked with that. Had a bit of a dream and um, crazy, we believe, and here we are. Now, a full-length documentary takes a deep dive into the road to success. Unfortunately, with that bit of rain, uh, the surface is not going to be ideal for us. And the lengths it took to get there. Oh, there's always going to be risks when you're trying to break world records. Well, we are joined now by Emirates Team New Zealand skipper Glenn Ashby. Glenn, uh, the documentary has just premiered down at the Royal New Zealand Lo uh, Yacht Squadron. That's quite hard to say. <laughs> um, what did the audience there think? How was the response? Yeah, look, it's been a, a really wonderful evening here. Um, it's a real celebratory feeling, to be honest. It's um, It's been quite a journey, you know, it's been quite a, a bespoke project and um, to do something a little bit out of the box has uh, certainly been something that's been really, really interesting and um, fantastic to celebrate the, uh, the world record achievement this evening. So really good fun. Now, we just saw a little clip there saying you had a dream, you believed in it, you did it. But did you have doubts along the way? You must have. Yeah, look, it's been a it's been a, a really, really sort of lifelong dream, I guess, this one. And to be honest, to be able to sort of do this with with your colleagues and and your teammates is is something that's very, very special. And um, it has been a sort of a, a rocky road of ups and downs over the years. And you know, to be able to pull this one off is is another feather in the cap for what has been a really incredible sort of couple of years, if you like, in between uh, you know the victory at the last America's Cup here in Auckland. Mm -hmm. Looks really, really awesome and trippy out there on the salt. Flat. So what do you prefer now, the, the sea or, or the salt? <laughs> yeah, look, as much as I've enjoyed spending time out there in the desert on the salt, you know, I think um, water is, is really running through my veins. So <laughs> I, I think, um, you know, it would be fantastic to, um, you know, be able to get back on the water again and, you know, maybe one day be able to hopefully break a wind-powered, wind you know, land... Uh, speed record, not just um, you know on land, but be able to do that on the water here, uh, possibly even you know in the Hauraki Gulf. So um, that's something I'm focusing on at the moment. And I think uh, the team's definitely up for the challenge down the track. So what's what saltier then, the 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 sea or the salt? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it this way, you, you certainly wouldn't want to mix it with your tequila and lemon, that's for sure, out at Lake Gardner. It's, um, it's a bit like smelling salts. It's, um, it's actually about seven times more salty at Lake Gardner than it is um, out here in the Hauraki Gulf. So it's, um, it's definitely harsh on the gear and uh, you don't want to get it up your nose or in your eyes, that's for sure. Wow. The land yacht is bloody fast. Have you ever used it uh, if you were running late for work? <laughs> 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 Look, it's, um, if you can picture sort of, I guess, driving down the motorway at um, 225 kilometres an hour with a 10 metre <laughs> wing on the roof of your car and a crosswind, that's probably about the same feel, I reckon, but I think I'll, I think I'll stick to the bike or the car, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Ashby, you're an absolute legend. Congratulations. Cannot wait to watch the doco. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So if you would like to uh, pretend that you are Glenn for a moment, the documentary is called Land of Speed. It's on tonight on 3 at 8.30pm. And if you want to head along and check out that land yacht, it's such a weird thing to say at <laughs> If you want to have a look at the land Roll yacht, the um, it's going to be on display near Britomart in Auckland uh, from the 19th to the 22nd of April.